Okay, I'm going to start with the most important things first. Sound, comfort and fit, and then mention some other factors to consider. Mids and vocals are where I focus first. So traditionally, this is the area where audio has struggled to reproduce naturalness, and it's an area where, as humans, we are particularly sensitive to hearing any flaws in reproduction. If the audio gets that right, the next hurdles are delivering sufficient bass quantity and kick to carry the rhythm, and enough detailed but not sibilant or harsh treble to convey energy, air, and a sense of the live acoustic. Now the mids are clear and natural sounding, and at a higher level of clarity than regular AirPods. However, when listened to after the Sony, the Pro sounds a little bit less convincing. Now without having better sound quality buds, and not necessarily more expensive buds to compare against, their relative lack of clarity and what you're missing out on would probably not be apparent. Now like the Sony, the Galaxy Buds Pro has a soft bass in terms of kick and impact. Their quantity is at a good level and less rolled off except for sub bass, so Hans Zimmer's Why So Serious suffers, which is much less well represented than even some much less expensive buds. Now while highs are more rolled off and slightly sweeter than the Sony's, they are nevertheless not wanting in detail or energy or extension, so the net effect is that one can enjoy fuller mids without fear of treble aggression forcing one to turn the volume down. So in summary, clear, though not the clearest mids and vocals, a gentle but in the main sufficiently powerful and deep bass, and detailed is slightly toned down treble, making for a very pleasant and inoffensive sound, albeit one that may be a little too tame for those looking for more dynamics and fireworks in some of their music. The ANC is good, though not at the level of the class leading Sony or the Anchor Sanquil Liberty Air 2 Pro. Comfort is great and they stick out far less than my CX400, so you look less like a Cyberman and can sleep on your side more easily. As far as fit goes, I'm usually a medium or large with tips and I use the largest of the three sizes of earbuds provided. They are oval with custom notches so not of the conventional design, which means you'll be forced to go to Samsung for replacements and can't use standard tips or foams for example. They were very secure however and inspired confidence that they wouldn't fall out without a significant jolt. Connectivity was fine with dropouts only starting through a wall. Controls operated fine with my perfect format of double tap for skip and hold for volume control. It's all configurable through the app. The Sony makes you triple tap for some actions. Battery again is fine if not exceptional with a great 8 hours at a stretch but just 18 hours total before a recharge is needed. Latency for the YouTube app on my old S7 was fine and the microphone very clear. Aesthetics are one area where I think they really trump the Sony's. The buds themselves are quite beautiful in phantom silver and the pearlescent finish on the case is very tasteful. Of course it's a lot smaller, more pocketable than the Sony's. A little feature that I've not seen before is that when one takes one out, this activates ambient on the one left in the ear. So by removing just one, you can hear almost as clearly as removing both. Now, while not a showy person or brand snob, I do appreciate good aesthetics. As a package, the Buds Pro are great. If you buy them, you don't get the bass slam or stellar clarity you get with some other TWS. However, this does make for beautiful, relaxed, but still clear sound, which many will enjoy. It will still bring tears to your eyes and inspire you when you need some motivation. So they sound good and they're gorgeous and unique looking, so why am I not keeping mine? Well, no doubt and not insignificant amount of your hard-earned cash is going into the name and advertising. And you can get better pure sound quality in the wireless format for less cash, a lot less cash. I mean, even the Sony's, which are at a similar level to the Buds Pro in all respects other than aesthetic security of fit and pocketability, are £100 less. But if you do love that package of good music reproduction and aesthetics and microphone quality and low frequency ANC, and have 200 plus quid burning a hole in your pocket and want to treat yourself, then, well, enjoy them. You will love them. If, however, like me, you already have some equally good or better sounding wireless earphones or are happy using much more inexpensive wired audio for fully enjoying your music, you may be sending them back. I have my CX400, which may not look as sexy of the fancy features, but for me, they sound closer to the music and have a more impactful bass. And with the money I've saved, I can, well, probably get another set of earbuds. And who knows, maybe a new way of hearing and perceiving the music I thought I knew. Bit of a metaphor for life there. It's an educationist channel. Anyway, what do you think? Let us all know in the comments below. 
For now though, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.